Fogged In is the 12th episode of the second season of Full House. And I, I like this episode. It's not one of my personal favourites, but there are some really good moments in this. So as always, there will be spoilers in this discussion as I go through the narrative, mostly chronologically, and just mention some things that I personally enjoyed and anything that I didn't, though there wasn't actually anything in this that I didn't like. So it starts off in the kitchen, or just about starts off in the kitchen. Kimmy comes over, her parents are going away, so she's staying with the Tanners for the weekend, maybe until Wednesday, and that made me very happy because I love Kimmy, I love Andrea Barber, and she's in it a really good amount, so I really enjoyed that. Unfortunately, Jessie's not too thrilled about this because Kimmy and DJ go into Jessie's room and they start playing and singing Locomotion and they kind of tape over Jessie's jingle. Now, I'll be honest, DJ said it was an accident, but that, I don't, you can't accidentally tape over something. If the tape is already in the recorder, chances are Jessie's been doing something with it. So I, you can't really say it was an accident, but obviously she feels bad about this. Jessie gets really angry and Danny says that he lost his temper. But again, I feel like Jessie had the right to be angry because DJ had taped over his work. She had gone into his room without his permission, used his equipment without his permission, and taped over the jingle he and Joey had been working on all night. So I don't think he overreacted at all. But Danny convinces him otherwise, and Jesse buys DJ a drum kit to make up for it, which I think is a kind of decision that should have been made as a family to bring a drum kit into the house, but obviously DJ is thrilled. And we get a brilliant performance from John Stamos playing the drums, which was uh, rather great. And the message there is not clear to to begin with, but it's actually the first thought that I had when I saw this drum kit. So I'm glad it was the message we reached and that you can't buy somebody's forgiveness. Jesse got the drums for DJ so that they would be friends, so she wouldn't be upset at him for getting mad. Let's pay attention to the fact that Jesse is apologizing for getting mad at DJ doing something wrong. It's not quite the right way to go about things. And the message that we get eventually is that you can't buy somebody's forgiveness or give somebody a gift just so that you can be best buds again and uh, I'm pleased that the episode really came to that conclusion because as nice as gifts are it's not the right way to go about making amends and we also have uh, actually the the narrative that focuses on the title is the fact that they're all fogged in and we have Jesse's parents and Kimmy is, of course, still there. I feel like Jesse's parents were kind of shoehorned into this. I like them as characters, and they did help bring about the the message about forgiveness and talking to each other to communicate your feelings. But I feel like they really didn't need to be in this episode. It just it felt forced. It felt like they were trying to create this chaotic, full house, <laughs> ironically, with everybody fogged in. But... It never really felt chaotic. It's a big house, let's be honest. It's a big property. And I just felt like that part of the narrative wasn't as good as it could have been. It's not bad, but I think it could have been a lot better. The whole fogged in story just felt really almost pointless because they didn't really get, in my opinion as much out of it as they could have done. But it was absolutely fine. We have some other really great bits. We have Kimmy snoring, which was fabulous. And one of my favourite moments is when Stephanie is giving Michelle a horsey. And just the image of Jodie Sweeten with Mary Kate or Ashley on her back, crawling around, giving her a horsey, was just absolutely adorable. And it made me smile a lot. And I think also something pretty much all of us can relate to from our childhoods. I can't remember when the last time I had a horsey was. And I can't remember when I last gave a horsey. I imagine it would have been when my siblings were much, much younger. There was quite an age gap between me and my siblings. And definitely a little bit of nostalgia and happy memories there. So a really good episode. Not perfect. Definite room for improvement. But that being said, we have some good messages. We have a lot of Kimmy Gibbler. Ultimately, it's still a good episode. 